In this video, we will talk about another example of uh, dashboard that is descriptive analytics dashboard. In last week, we have seen what is MOOC data and what data to collect from IIT Bombay X. IIT Bombay X is an online platform that offers MOOCs course using the edX platform. In edX platform also it offers uh, insights uh, into the uh, data collected from the participants. So, that is called insights.iitbombayx.com. So, the course instructors get access to those. So, it is called open edX uh, based uh, learner behavior interaction there. So, let us look at that um, MOOC dashboard in this video. So, before we look at the MOOC analytics dashboard, um, uh, we remember that a uh, couple of weeks ago we saw that uh, what data can be collected from Moodle. For example, enrollment data, engagement data from the students, and enrollment data will give you the profile information and where they are from, the gender, and also we collected the performance in the course. So, if you have these kind of data, so what data you would like to show in the dashboard? So, remember that what data you collected from the students interaction behavior. If you have this information from say 1000 users have taken your course, which data are important to show in the dashboard to the instructor? Consider stakeholder is the instructor and how do you represent it by a line chart, a bar chart, uh, which data you represent which way. Uh, take, take moment, think about it and write down which data you want to show in the dashboard and how do you want to represent it. Uh, please uh, continue the video after you listing down the answers. So, let us look at the MOOC data analytics IIT Bombay dashboard, uh, here is the website. Uh, this has access only to instructors, so I am going to look at this website now. We are looking at the IIT Bombay edX insights web page. We are talking about a course called pedagogy for effective use of ICT for school teachers. This analytics is only for this particular course. There are four type of things like uh, enrollments, engagement, performance and learners. If you talk about engage enrollments, you will have the value like activity, demographics and good geography. So, daily learner enrollment over the period of time. The enrollment is less just because the students do not enroll and they can take a course directly. It is shown using the stack chart. Here you can see the end users age, the education, the gender. However, this data is optional if the user enters this data then only it will be displayed otherwise it will not be displayed. The more importantly the I open index insights offers you also the tabular form of data. Data visualization is not just uh, showing the data in a graphics also should have a data so that users can use those data. When you look at the geography, the most participants from India are the few participants from Tanzania. And there are one participant from United States. Let us look at the engagement. Here you can see there are lot of active users initially, the course is only offered for 4 weeks, so there are lot of active users on a first week and the active users was reduced and there is some active users continued then number of active users dropped after fourth week gradually. So, the active learners is shown in this card chart also this chart indicates how many problems they tried, how many problems they tried to answer it and this green color indicates they watched the video. Active users is they logged into video, they looked at the page or combination of these two, this represents the active users. But really speaking how many videos they watch, the students who are watching the video is gradually reduced over the weeks. If you look at the week's video data, how many videos has been watched by the user for over the week. For the module 1, average completion time is 73 percent of participants or the students enrolled in the course completed watching the video. It is a very good retention rate. So, this shows that for each module that is a 4 weeks module, this is a pre course module for each module what is the percentage of users watch this particular video. 
as I mentioned, in order to collect this kind of data, we need to collect each user's uh, watching time, then we need to compute the average, then represent the data in such a format, a stack chart format. Let us look at the performance, there is only one performance knowledge quiz and reflection quiz and assimilation quiz and resource creation assignment. There are like a four different performance and each performance has their own weightage of marks and the students uh, performance in each of this is shown here. Here we have seen the data, we have seen the data of the learners, the data of who is doing the course and how they interact with the video and things. From this you can ask a lot of this question, how many learners are in my course? This can be answered by looking at the particular chart. So these are the questions you want to ask from the data which can be viewed directly from the graphs. So in this video, we saw IIT Bombay X dashboard, uh, we looked at what are the data is collected, how they are easily represented using line charts and the bar charts. Thank you.